Hey, it's David with the Maxonics Tech Support, and today we're gonna to expand even farther on our digital multimeter knowledge by testing the audio signal of an amplifier, both on the input and the output. We are going to test the output signal of our amplifier using both an oscilloscope and a digital multimeter. To power the amplifier, we currently have our bus bar, which is a simulated battery with a ground post, a remote pass-through from our radio, and a 12-volt constant. The 12-volt constant and ground are coming from our variable voltage power supply, which is currently set to about 13.3 volts. Our radio is currently on. In the previous video, we showed how to test the power on a radio to make sure that it will turn on and function correctly, and the output voltage for your AC signal on your RCAs, and your speaker wires. On our NA2 amplifiers, we use a connector that houses the speaker output wires. For this test, we're going to use our front left output wires. I'm first going to perform this test using the digital multimeter by connecting my negative alligator clip and my positive alligator clip to the corresponding speaker wires. I will then take my probes from my digital multimeter and connect the other side of my alligator clips to them. To perform this test, it is easiest and preferred practice to use a 1000 Hz test tone when doing full range speakers and a lower 100 Hz test tone when doing subwoofer. I will now play my 1000 Hz test tone. As you may be able to see, my voltage already jumped up to about 4 volts AC. We have the meter set to AC voltage. And as I turn my volume up on my radio, my voltage increases steadily, up to about 26 volts. As I turn my volume down, my voltage decreases. This would indicate that I am getting output from my amplifier to my speakers. If I am still not receiving audio from my speakers, I would then go on to test my speakers. If you have not checked out our video on testing a speaker, please check it out in the description below. On this particular oscilloscope, I would have my probe set into oscilloscope in common and the AC oscilloscope range setting. Now that I have my alligators clipped to my oscilloscope rather than my digital multimeter, we're going to set our test tone to play. As you can see on my oscilloscope, that we now have a sine wave playing. If I come back to the back side of my amplifier and increase my level, you'll see the wave get bigger and bigger and slowly start to square the top of the wave. This would be a clipped signal. This is a very, very good way to damage a speaker. You never want to have a clipped output signal. This is why adjusting an amplifier's gain properly is very important. With very little adjustments, can achieve the maximum output without clipping your signal and the potential of damaging your speakers. For testing on our RCAs, we're going to want to connect our negative alligator clip to the outer shield of our RCA cable. Then we're going to want to connect our positive to the center pin of our RCA cable. We're going to continue to have our digital multimeter set 
for AC voltage anytime we are testing signal. That's going to wrap up our testing of an amplifier's input and output AC signal. Thank you for joining me on this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and follow us on our social medias. Q. They're in the description below.